So let's start now what you're going to need the requirements. So first of all, one thing that I, I love the most, I mean, I have the Elgato video capture card, but I don't use it as much as I thought I was going to be using it because of the video card that I have is it's capable of handling the bandwidth and capable of handling the transactions between the video card and the game. So I pretty much avoid buying a, a, one of these capture cards because in reality, you don't need it unless you're going to some games do require that it won't capture itself through a, either a window capture or game capture that you do have to reconnect. But there's few quite a few of those games because those are the games that are like you know they don't want to be be reviewed or don't want to be seen so they tend to not to have that feature active for that so now these days when you buy a video card it comes with the whole feature of capturing in fact you know what let me capture something right here real quick that i'm going to show you guys and i start if you guys see that they're going to see a little light i start capturing here and I capture whatever's on the screen. And that's pretty much comes with the NVIDIA experience. And that's free. Free of charge. And not only that. Now, not only the NVIDIA captures, but if you have a Radeon, um, either 580, 560, they also have the feature built in that you can capture all this stuff. Now, another great thing about this is that I have to, I use the open broadcast software, the OBS. And this software is pretty much the bread and butter that I run everything on and it captures pretty much a lot of stuff that it, it requires um your gaming your 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 um, your actual announcements your audio and the end of your keys too also that you need to capture well i'm going to use the green screen i'm using actually the the round system i told you about just to cover my seat and you're not able to see anything now so what I'm going to talk about is OBS. This is a software that is free for all you users out there that want to stream. This is a must. This is the bread and butter I use. I, I could use the stream, um, um, Elgato streaming um, video capture system, but it's there's a lot of problems with this. So I tend to use OBS because it works well. So the way you do is you go to Google, you find it here, you hit open broadcast software home, you find it. And here it gives you three options, Windows, Mac, or Linux, right? So if you get the Windows version, you, it pretty much looks like this. And from here, I'm going to take you to a next step that is it's a great thing to capture. And if you want to get into Mixture, you want to get into Twitch, you want to get into other, other venues, like I said, check it out. If you want to stream and, and hit every single um, different application that's out there i'm talking about twitch youtube mixture and so forth you could add on all these different uh, venues on this system and it's free it's called restream.io and what you do in here it's basically you set up all your 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 stream venues that you have you know your twitch your youtube mixture and so forth not only that they do charge for additional stuff. They charge for um, if you want to stream through Facebook. They do have they they do have a cost. Now they capture not only the streaming part, but they actually capture the chatting too. And you go open it up so you could get all these chat areas from one location and and you could reply back and it it just works. I'm not going to go into details how to show you how to use this, but this is a must. So you could hit every venue and you go, I'm not only doing Twitch, I'm using YouTube, Mixture, and, and, and if you see your, your, your subs growing in one area, maybe that's when you drop the rest of them. And you might want to go that direction. But right now, everybody's doing this. I mean, a lot of big um, starters started up doing the same thing. Um, Cold Stone Mountain started doing Twitch and YouTube. He now doing uh, and, and Facebook, and now he's doing Facebook. Um, uh, Dr. Disrespect, he's doing Twitch, but he jumps back and forth from YouTube. All these big streamers do the same thing, and they go back and forth. And, and like I said, it, the, the market saturated were all these people in this market. You know, they all want to be streamers. It's hard to be a streamer. Um, you might not make it. You know, chances are slim. You know, maybe a couple, uh, 2%. They make it 1%. Depends on the market. Uh, depends on the game too. Like uh, it could be a game that you could start up first, play first, and people are gonna watch you, and it starts up from there. But it could be something that that nobody has done before. You could you have to get creative with this. Now, when I stream, I stream as a gangster pretty much because I grew up in East LA. 
you know, I hung up on the hood and all that stuff. But doesn't mean I'm going to be a gangster. But, like, Dr. Disrespect has his wig. Um, um, certain developers, certain people have their own, you know, their their own parodies of, of who they are, you know. I'm Latino. I want to get more of the Latino market and other markets out there. Hey, you know, it's you find your way, your hitch on this thing. And this is a great start to do it. You know, you can start here, and this will monitor a lot of stuff. Now, on top of this one, I'm going to show you another one here. Streamlabs is one of those applications that I personally love a lot. Now, what this is, it just captures a lot of like uh, who's subbing, a lot of those coins. When you see uh, on, and when you're streaming and you see all these things happening in the background, you know, people subbing, it pops up. Uh, people don't need money, it pops up. This is where it comes from, all right? The Streamlabs. Now, they ca they do a lot more things in there. They integrate uh, OBS. They have an OBS. They, have, they, they do have their own OBS. But it's the same application, but I don't recommend you trying to get OBS with this thing because then you can't do the restream. So try to keep them separated. Now this thing has is pretty neat because you're able to do you're able to see live stuff as it going along. So people start donating and you start seeing more of that stuff. You'll see it here live. Now every time you go to these websites that they have these coins in the corner or these things popping in there or or something a character's coming out, this is where they actually create it. So this is free. I'm not gonna go into tutorials how to use this. So this is one of the things I recommend you, highly recommend you for every vet, every type of streamer, the high end, the low end. Everybody's using these kind of three, three applications. I mean, from Shroud to Dr. Disrespect to Stone Mountain, they're all using the same application. Every, every streamer that's out there that's very popular, even Ninja, is using these three applications. And how much do they pay for it? Is absolutely free to start with, I mean, and that's what you have to do: is get yourself together, organize, educate yourself on these things, and then maybe take off. Because if you start taking off as a regular streamer, just showing yourself in the corner and nothing fancy, nothing to bring new to the board, then you're not gonna last long. You know, you want to make sure you come in knowing your stuff too. You want to make sure you have something that you're able to control yourself, so your audience can say, "Hey, this guy's done his homework." You know, I'm a rookie. But there's people out there that's been doing this for a year and they're not making any money, you know, and, and they're not doing anything about it, you know, but it depends on your content. So make sure you bring the right content to your right audience. Now, you know, like I said, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it as a hobby. If it hits, it hits, you know, but so far I've been I've been blessed with a lot of subs out, uh, after all, you know, they're coming in. I have good good a set of friends I've been playing with for quite a while. Um, I get all these new applications, new games, you know, new stuff that I'm always testing out. Uh, so it, it's been bringing me new, new content as, as I talk about these things, hardware and software. Now, your thing is to go out there and make yourself uh, aware, uh, make everybody aware of you. That's pretty much what it is. So start different venues. Um, I would also go through YouTubes and find out so how they're doing, you know. I have a little folder that I keep up uh, tabs on certain YouTubers. Like, hey, if this YouTuber has 20 or 30 subs, I want to keep a tab on his, how fast he's going to grow. If I see that a YouTuber has 3,000 subs, I want to see how they're doing in a month or so. So I could go back and study them, too, and what's working and what's not working. Look at their likes, too. Look at their likes, look at their uh, reviews, look at all the stuff. And, and then another thing that I recommend you, highly recommend you, is going to show you. Now, on, if you want to go more into details of how other people use their YouTube, you could go in here in the social blade. This will give you a rundown of how, how good of a percentage their websites are doing. Right now, so far, I have a C. I'm not going to complain, you know. Social Blade is another thing that you could find out more details. You want to do your more of your homework. You just put in your site here. You hit on OK. And I'm going to show you some. Of, I'm going to show you personally my site. All right. Of course, somebody has my name, but they're not. They're not. They've been having touched this thing for almost a year. So I'm going to go to my site here. And they gave me a C. I pretty much have a C on my reviews, which is not bad. I'm, you know, but I'm right in the center, you know. I need an A and a B to go higher, you know, a uh, B, A, you know, so then, then, then I could be an A plus, you know, a, it's like a celebrity pretty much. I'm a C celebrity. <laughs> I'm not even an A or B, you know, not even a B either. So I'm in the C right now. C plus is a good grade. You know, it says that a lot of people are watching, a lot of subscribers, it's growing. 
I created this on January 27, 2017. It shows you a lot of stuff that's in here. I mean, all the all these things you could break it down into details of what's working and what's not working. You could actually study other people's YouTube sites and see how they're doing it. And this is only for YouTube. Twitch unfortunately doesn't have these kind of tools. They do have it unless you're an actual Twitch member. But these tools are available for anybody to go and start doing their homework. I and mean, this is how you break it down. You find out what's working, who's making how much money. You know, I'm making two cents, ten cents, a dollar, four dollars, you know, pennies, pennies, nickels and dimes, you know. What's not working? I lost a subscriber. Why did I lose a subscriber? You got to break it down. You got to go into details. But this this kind of, if, you, uh, if you're going to be a streamer, don't cry about it losing subscribers. They come and go. They come and go. One day I lose 20 one day I gained 20, you know, there's been up and down, you know, you're not going to grow overnight. Uh, like I said, there's been um, these guys that have been doing this for 10 years and they haven't grown and they're not open to the market to any other uh, ideas that keep going the same direction. If you're there, you got to move on. You know, you got to, like I said, you got to find some good content, something that's going to hit the market out there. And this is one way. Do your study, do your homework before you start doing this stuff. And this is the low end to the high end. Anybody can use these three tools, these four tools I just presented to you. Next, we're going to talk a little bit more on, on my setup here. I'm going to give you guys a little rundown. I, I do my things here. I have my OBS on one screen. I'm going to show you. And then I have my monitor and my a camera on one end and then I have my lighting set and I have all everything surrounding me here of course you know you have to be if you're gonna spend a couple of hours on your seat you got to make sure you're comfortable or standing up as you're gonna see in the next video I'm gonna put in here all right here you want to make sure that you have a comfortable chair something with maybe an extra padding on the top and this is a Merax um, chair it's pretty neat real comfortable and then we go to the piece of resistance. So let's go ahead and introduce you here to the beast number two. It comes with two monitors here. I got two monitors here. I got a, a Brio camera, the 4K Brio camera. And I do have a ring light with a filter on because the ring light by itself is really bright. Now I do have a, a regular little light right here just in case I need to see something in my hand. And, um, of course, trusty PlayStation 4 here. I got this nice keyboard with the metal keys, of course. You know, I want to make sure it has an extra feel to it. Uh, I do have the PlayStation 4 controller in my hand. And uh, Xbox controller is connected to the Omen machine, which I did a review for it. Now, I do have these 32 by 32 curve, 32 curve monitors. Um, they are Samson. They're really neat. Now here, as you notice, it's the camera for the actual VR. And I use the VR here. Sometimes I put it up there. But I use it mainly for the audio. Uh, the audio of when I'm playing with the Xbox, with the PlayStation, I use it for the audio. So I can communicate because somehow there's a, a little Turk, a little twitch. You got to make sure you got to play with it. So I actually had that set up with my, with my headset. So I do have the Astro headsets here. Really neat. Now I do have a, a stream deck here. One of these Elgato uh, stream deck. Really nice and neat. I go in here and I set up all my stuff on my buttons in here. When I'm actually videotaping. I have to go through the whole system. I do have uh, extra hard drives here that carry a bunch of games too. Uh, extra little external hard drives here. That I have um, um, USB drives to also I have in hand. The PlayStation 4 is right here, right next to me. I have a charging station here. I have another start charging station here. And I have a connection that actually goes in the back. It's a little dusty right now. But the connection has multiple connections. And it has a USB charging station too that you can plug anything in. You can plug in your phone. You can plug in all sorts of things. Uh, I'm not going to show you the Omen. It's really dusty. But I do have a Synology right next to me. A UPS that's missing. Uh, I have a UPS right next to it. I have a Synology external hard drive, one of those big um, drives that has around 30 terabytes of hard drives that are carrying a bunch of video, editing material, software, games, and so forth. Uh, but this is pretty much my, my whole setup here. Um, real nice and neat. I got my little bandana up there, of course, you know. Uh, when I'm videotaping, I'm actually doing all the videotaping from here. I bring in the program here. Let me bring it up. 
when I'm videotaping, the program actually runs out of here. So this pretty much managed my video, and this is the gaming part. I just play the games on here. So when I'm playing, the video camera turns on, it's directly on me, and um, I'm, I'm monitoring the actual chats, I'm monitoring the, the visualizations, everything in here. The stream deck goes in there, and it all connects to it. Uh, but if you want to know more about it, let me know. This is pretty much a, my setup. Oh, 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 we forgot one important thing. Now, overall, what I do, I do have this desk. The desk is really neat. Actually, let me go a bird's eye view on the desk. The, the desk has all these um, LED lights here. The desk itself. So say I want to play um, a game that requires me in a couple hours. So what I do is it has these buttons here. And I'm going to raise the level of, or oh, oh, just drop something. I'm raising the level and I could be playing standing up the games here. So I have that extra function here that I always have just for this reason. So I'm going to lower it down again. So this desk is one of those um, desks that are really neat. I have them pro pre programmed some of these buttons already. And that's pretty much my setup. It's a little, uh, I don't want to show you underneath the desk. I need to do cable management, but I have everything set up. I do play in the living room here. So you probably hear my kids once in a while. I have a TV here. You hear people in the background, but these headsets that I have, they cancel out everything. And you just hear me most of the time. You don't hear people watching TV or my kids running around uh, or, or anything like that on the weekends, but that's pretty much my setup. Now that you've seen all the tools that will help you in life become a streamer or maybe for a personal or, or professional, these tools are free for you to use. And then if you want to spend more money on it, like I said, I showed you a couple of items you could spend the money on it. I'm not going to talk in the details of what you need to buy because for me to tell you exactly your, what you're going to be gaming, it's kind of impossible because there's a high-end gaming and to a low-end gaming. Where high-end will be high graphics with an Unreal Engine. Um, low-end will be Candy Crush and other stuff that you don't require a big video card. So depending on the kind of um, um, streamer you're going to be out there, you would want to make the research some of the stuff yourself because not everybody needs to have the high-end stuff all the time. And one of the important things I found out that if you have the right tools and you present yourself correctly, uh, people are going to see, hey, this guy means business, you know, and I hope I can help you in any kind of tools out there. And I hope I can get you as a supporter to subscribe to our show and hit the like button. And um, anything else, let me know. I'm your host, Prophecy 4 out.